वेलकम इन सिंपल वर्ड्स व्हाट इज डिसइंफेक्टेंट क्वालिफिकेशन और डिसइंफेक्टेंट वैलिडेशन डिसइंफेक्टेंट क्वालिफिकेशन और वैलिडेशन इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेस्टिंग एंड वेरीफाइंग दैट ए डिसइंफेक्टेंट इज इफेक्टिव अगेंस्ट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑन स्पेसिफिक सरफेसेस अंडर एक्चुअल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंडीशंस what are the key steps of disinfectant qualification step 1 selection of disinfectants selection of disinfectants is done based on the facilities needs and consideration of surface compatibility and material safety step 2 laboratory testing or phase 1 here we perform use dilution test mic that is minimum inhibitory concentration test and time kill studies step 3 controlled environment testing or phase 2 here we mimic the real world conditions to evaluate disinfectant performance final step step 4 field testing that is phase 3 here we verify the efficacy in the actual production environment what are the key components of disinfectant validation protocol objective disinfectants to be tested target microorganisms surface to be tested test methods neutralization validation and acceptance criteria are the key components of disinfectant validation protocol what are the typical challenge organisms during disinfectant validation you can refer below table for type typical challenge organisms and environmental isolates which is referenced from usp chapter number 1270 basic and important what is disinfectant contact time disinfectant contact time refers to the minimum duration that a disinfectant must remain in contact with a surface to effectively eliminate or reduce specific microorganisms to the desired level about three important terms that are very commonly used in disinfectant validation or qualification what is term residual effect zone of inhibition and minimum inhibitory concentration that is mic residual effect is the prolonged antimicrobial activity of a disinfectant after application preventing subsequent contamination zone of inhibition is the area around a disinfectant application site where microbial growth is inhibited and third important term mic that is minimum inhibitory concentration is the lowest concentration of a disinfectant that prevents visible microbial growth under laboratory conditions what is the disinfectant manufacturer role and end user role in the disinfectant qualification providing clearly defined coa chemical analysis of disinfectants active ingredients efficacy on liquid culture and providing details of contact times is the responsibility of disinfectant manufacturer whereas audit of disinfectant manufacturing facility and performing disinfectant efficacy testing is the responsibility of end user what are the key tests that performed during disinfectant validation study use dilution test surface efficacy test time kill study neutralizer validation and field testing are the key tests that are performed during disinfectant validation study in use dilution test disinfectant is diluted to its intended use concentration and tested against standard microbial strains and isolates whereas in case of time kill study disinfectant is exposed to microorganisms for varying durations on which surfaces or materials disinfectants are commonly tested you can refer below table for the different materials on which we test the disinfectants the commonly used materials are stainless steel glass plastic polycarbonate epoxy fiberglass and tyvek what are the different class of disinfectant used in the pharmaceutical industry you can refer below table for different class of disinfectant as per usp chapter number 1072 the important classes are aldehydes alcohols chlorine and sodium hypochlorite phenolates ozone and hydrogen peroxide when we should perform disinfectant qualification first initially during introduction of new disinfectant secondly periodically typically every 2 to 3 years and whenever there are significant changes in disinfectant surfaces or cleaning protocols what acceptance criteria is generally followed for disinfectants in pharmaceutical industry refer below table for important parameter and their acceptance criteria for efficacy or log reduction generally 
थ्री लॉग रिडक्शन फॉर बैक्टीरिया एंड टू लॉग रिडक्शन फॉर फंग और ईस्ट इज फॉलोड फॉर कॉन्टेक्ट टाइम द रिकमेंडेड कॉन्टेक्ट टाइम इज फाइव टू टेन मिनिट्स रेफर बिलो पैरामीटर्स एंड देयर एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया वॉट सर्फेस प्रॉपर्टीज इम्पैक्ट ऑन डिसइनफेक्ट एंड इफिकसी सर्फेस रफनेस सर्फेस चार्ज हाइड्रोफोबिसिटी और हाइड्रोफिलिसिटी एडसॉप्शन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑन टू द सर्फेस ग्रेड ऑफ मटेरियल एंड सर्फेस डैमेज और करोजन कैन ऑल अफेक्ट द लेवल ऑफ लॉग रिडक्शन अचीव बाय ए डिसइनफेक्टेंट वॉट स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ एक्टिविटी जनरली एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम डिसइनफेक्टेंट्स इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री द डिसइनफेक्टेंट शुड डेमोस्ट्रेट इफिकसी अगेंस्ट ए ब्रॉड रेंज ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स इंक्लूडिंग बैक्टीरिया फंजा स्पोर्स एंड वायरसेस टेस्टिंग शुड इंक्लूड स्टैंडर्ड ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक स्टाफेलोकोकस ऑरियस सुडोमोनस ऑरिजिनोसा एस्परजुलस ब्रासिलेंसिस एंड फैसिलिटी स्पेसिफिक आइसोलेट्स वॉट इज कूपन इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ डिसइनफेक्टेंट क्वालिफिकेशन On the right side, you can see the photograph of coupon. In the context of disinfectant efficacy testing, a coupon refers to a small standardized piece of surface material being tested. It is typically of two inches to two inches in size and used to represent the larger surface to be decontaminated. How coupons are used during disinfectant qualification or validation? Sufficient organisms are inoculated on a coupon and allowed for at least 10 minutes of contact time to see the efficacy of disinfectant what are the important factors that need to be considered during disinfectant validation as per usp chapter number 1 to 70 few important factors that need to be considered during disinfectant validation are spectrum of activity of the disinfectant concentration of the disinfectant surface material to be disinfected and disinfectant rotational plan what are key microorganisms we should challenge during disinfectant qualification refer below table for category organism type example of isolates and rationale for inclusion in disinfectant qualification study key organism type are gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria yeast mold aerobic spore formers and anaerobic spore formers which external labs perform disinfectant qualification for pharmaceutical industries refer below table for the external labs that performs disinfectant qualification for pharma industry these labs offer expertise in compliance with regulatory standards like usp chapter 1072 fda and ugmp last and very important question what are the guidelines referred for disinfectant qualification in pharma industry usp chapter 1072 ugmp annex 1 iso standard 14698-1 and 14698-2 fda's guidance for industry and who's technical report series are the guidelines that are commonly referred for disinfectant qualification in pharma industry don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry